So Kim, uh, would you like to give us the elevator pitch for the Hummingbird Project? Yeah, sure. So it's the story of these uh, two cousins who are whiz kids at the stock market. They live in New York and they want to try to build a 1,000 mile long fiber optic tunnel between Kansas and New York to try to uh, gain a single millisecond off the stock exchange and make millions off of it. Just a little thing, I just noticed two people have hummingbird tattoos. Are you, do you guys know each other? Or is that just since yesterday? That's a strange coincidence. I, 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 yeah. Do you love the movie that much? <laughs> It's a story of like the extreme lengths and the absurd lengths people go to in the name of kind of greed or success or these kind of vague things that you realize only in retrospect are fleeting and you know killing you. We were kind of experiencing what the characters were experiencing. You know, where actors are normally you know complaining in kitchens and stuff like that. And then uh, you know the movie put us in these incredibly you know extreme situations. We we're filming in Quebec in December, so we were there was a scene was negative Cold. 25 degrees or something. And so the kind of what the characters are experiencing, you know, they come from the world of, you know, they're traders in New York, they're not exposed to this kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, then suddenly thrust into like um, in these extreme situations. People love to see actors transform themselves on screen and I know that for the two of you, Alexander and Selma, people are already talking about how your hair transformed you for these parts. Um, tell me about that process and what that decision was like. Well, the decision was um, just very uh, easy for me. I read the script and, and that's the way I envisioned Anton. It took a while to, to get everyone to accept the, uh, the fact that I was gonna shave it completely off. The way that Kim was describing my character, you know, the type of woman that she was. Eva is somebody who thinks she's the best and the fastest at what she does and uh, she's like everything about her is like cutting edge and this is what her business is about and this is how she identifies herself and being someone that it's ahead of everyone else so because of that we thought that maybe she also has a unique look i mean this is the first time really that i play such a powerful businesswoman you know um, that it's in the, you know, getting to like the latest of technology to make money in New York. I am their boss. I mean, this is really, Incredibly I'm an old alpha. lady here, yeah. baby. And, and just now, I, I, uh, just in time, thank God. If they wait two more years, I'm like yeah. playing only the grandma with the <laughs> game, hitting them. But, just made it. Um, just made it, thanks to people like Kim, who not only I get to play a very strong, smart, powerful woman, but also she's, she's Latino and a Latina. And this, is, this was like unimaginable when I started out.